Hey, what's up, fellas? What we're looking at here is a vaporization coil underneath the banjo burner that we installed to overcome the limitations of propane bottles. Now, yesterday, we had two propane bottles connected in tandem with a manifold running the burner, boiling this garbage can full of water. And we found some extreme limitations to how much power we were able to get out of this thing. So, tonight, we have implemented a vaporization coil similar to the type you would see on a hot air balloon but this time it's not and we also welded some holes closed because I didn't like the way that center fire was acting so just to give you an idea of how much fuel we can actually get out of the vaporization process the flame is actually going outside of the frame of the camera so I have not yet calculated the consumption by weighing the tanks but there seems to be no limit to the power output available when you're using liquid propane. So we now have the propane tank turned upside down and we are injecting liquid propane into the vaporization coil. And the ambient heat from this combustion chamber is going to help flash boil the propane. We do not want this vaporization coil to come in actual contact with the combustion chamber or else it could inhibit the combustion. So. We have it stood off from the burner about a half inch so that only the IR infrared radiation is going to be heating this coil and it's not going to be sacrificing any heat of the combustion chamber, which is essential to optimum combustion. Um, this thing is ferocious. It's the most phenomenal thing I think I have ever seen in person. It is a lot different in person than on camera. You can feel the power of this thing. It's freaking nuts. This thing is insane. Like I'm just going to say it. It's, I can't believe the amount of power we are getting out of this. Now guys, you've seen that big like nine foot tall fireball, right? We are burning all of that fuel right now in this very small area. And that is key to the project that these burners are going on. There's going to be six of them running a monotube boiler for a guy who's going to be um, trying to break a record, essentially. I don't want to get into too much detail until he gives me permission, but it is a very interesting project, and it requires the most exotic burner available. So we had to pull one out of the hat here. This is definitely out of the box. I have never seen anything like this. This is a rocket engine propane burner, in my opinion. This thing is burning at destructive levels. It'll only last about 800 hours like this before you start burning through that eighth inch metal. But 800 hours is a significant amount of operating time. And I have that information from some of my users in Africa who have run some equipment to dry lagoons and other things. They run the burners 24 seven and they get about 800 hours. So there's the propane bottle and it is inverted on full blast and we are at 19.2 pounds this is a 19 pound tank so we only have 0.2 pounds of fuel left in this thing we definitely have uh, run it out of fuel pretty quick we started off at 23.4 pounds we're out of gas and we went through that pretty quick about five dollars worth of propane in a couple of minutes as you can see it was still putting off a lot of fire the vaporization coil is completely thawed, meaning it is working flawlessly. The length of the tube is perfect, so I'm definitely loving that. The entire line is froze up down the stream there, though. But uh, here's just a shot of some of the GoPro footage of what was going on, just to give you guys a good look at how much propane fuel is actually being consumed here. And we are going to be adding a spark plug to this bad boy for ignition. It needs an internal ignition to get the internal combustion going. This thing will not pop off on itself. And the internal combustion is essential to these higher levels of performance that we're seeing. We've turned a nine foot flame into a two inch fireball inside of a three inch plate. Now, if you needed to get a lot of power in a very small spot, this is the way to do it. I am blown away by the performance of this burner. So once again, I have uh, topped myself. Uh, 
Definitely gonna have a new right eBay product going off of this bad boy. This thing is just nuts. Even when it's out of gas, it roars like a beast. So, there you have it, Bobo. I think this thing's a champion. The inverted propane tank has solved the problem. Yeah.